Welcome to our short hand stitching tutorial where I'm going to be showing you an invisible stitch that will seal items closed very, very neatly where you have got a hole like so and two edges of folded fabric. Now this stitch is often referred to as a slip stitch or a ladder stitch. So when would you use the slip stitch or the ladder stitch? Well, this stitch is predominantly used on items where you have two folded edges of fabric, so the seam allowances of these bits of fabric have been pushed inside, that needs to be joined together like so. So really, this is perfect for use on stuffed items, such as toys, or on little things like this is a lavender heart, on pillowcases, so a stuffed cushion that you want to sew up like this, it can also be used on garments, and I've used it a few times on a lining of a garment where I've got the lining that I want to abut like so. And it's often used on upholstery projects, such as curtain making on the mitered corners. So there are many uses of this stitch, and it's beautiful because it really does make it completely invisible. Now to sew this stitch, I'm going to be working with a black thread so that you can see it, and a double black thread. In terms of working with a double or a single thread, um, I would say that, generally speaking, you would use a double thread if you wanted a little bit of extra strength. It would really depend on the fabric and the project that I would be working with, whether I would choose to use with a double thread or a single thread. For this tutorial, I've created a double thread and I've tied a knot at the end of my thread. So I'm going to start by taking the needle through into the fabric and I'm just coming up on the edge of my fabric there. And this is simply to hide the knot. So my knot is going to be hidden and I can just poke that in or use the end of my needle to poke that in so that it's out of the way. Now, to start sewing. So I've come out on the side closest to me of the fabric on the folded edge. I'm going to go directly opposite onto the other side of the fabric and I'm going to go along in the folded edge for about five millimetres, a quarter of an inch and I'm going to pull that through and you'll see there's a little stitch that you can see there. Now I've come out on the furthest side away from me of the fabric and I'm going to come across, jumping completely across, going into the folded edge, along five millimetres, a quarter of an inch, and pulling that through. And you can see as I start to pull this, the stitches are hardly visible, especially as I'm working with a black thread on a white and grey project. Obviously you would be working with a thread that blended in, so I'd probably have chosen a white thread for this, now I've come out on the side closest to me, so I'm going to be going directly opposite onto the side furthest away from me, into the folded edge, and the needle here is really running literally along the folded edge, and again I'm sewing a stitch length of about 5mm a quarter of an inch, and pulling that through. Now I would recommend the 5mm um, quarter of an inch works for most things. If you're working with maybe a corner or maybe you really want something that's going to take a little bit of wear and tear and strain so it really needs to hold itself together, then obviously you would use your common sense and you would make your stitches smaller. So again I'm on the opposite side here, so I'm going to be coming directly across, in to the fabric, along for 5mm, and pulling it through and then pulling on my thread. And I'm just going to continue to do that. And it is a really, really neat stitch that is barely visible. And as we come to the end here, you've got a couple of options. You could either sew over yourself or you could tie a knot. So it's really up to you what you enjoy working with, tie a knot, cut off the thread, sew over yourself a couple of times, or you can even lose the thread inside the stuffed fabric. And that's probably what I would do here. So I'm just gonna sew through my previous stitch, just to tie off. 
And then I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go back in the hole and I'm going to come out in a random place. It doesn't really matter where. And I'm going to pull that through. And then I'm going to pull very, very tight on my thread. And as I'm pulling very, very tight, I'm going to cut off at the bottom of my thread. And there we have it. You can see that I've completely lost the thread in my stuffed item. And that the stitching there, seeing as this is in black thread, is hardly visible. It's a fabulous stitch. It's really, really neat, relatively easy to do, and to produce really good results with. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new and that you feel able to do this on future projects. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.